Hey y'all, it's Paris and I'm back with another video. So this video is going to be for the ones who um, God, God has told you that you are moving, okay? So I just wanted to give you guys some encouragement because maybe there are some people who are scared right now. Uh, maybe this is your first move. You know, this is your very first time where you've heard God tell you to move. So I just wanted to give you guys encouragement. So when it comes to moving, if God is telling you to move somewhere, know that he's going to give you instructions, okay? Um, we have to worry about the first instruction. So the first thing that God told you to do was to move, or maybe he just told you to quit your job. Okay. Worry about the first thing he told you to do. Believe if God is telling you to move, he's going to give you the next instruction. Okay. If God is telling you to move, he's going to give you the next instruction. So don't worry about, or don't stress about, you know, God hasn't, hasn't told me where God hasn't given me the location. Trust me. If he's, if, if it is him, if it is really God, he's going to tell you. Okay. And the, how I know this is because when I knew that God was telling me to move before I came out here to Texas, he was telling me to move and he kept giving me confirmation, confirmation after confirmation. Then after that, then I was praying and I was like, okay, God, now that I know that you want to move, now I need you, I need you to give me the state. And so it took maybe about uh, two or three months before God, God told me the state. And then he gave me the location, which was Texas. And he just kept confirming. He just kept confirming. Like I would see it on license plates. I would see it on TV. I would see it in movies. Like he just kept confirming. Okay. Then I was like, okay, God, well, um, what city? All right. And so maybe like a month later after, after I prayed, you know, I started seeing Dallas everywhere. So what I'm trying to share with you guys is that we can't always expect things to happen so quickly. Okay. Now God can give you an answer the next day, you know, but he didn't do it that way for me. So the reason why I'm telling you this is so that you guys can be patient. Okay. Stop stressing over, you know, you not knowing, you know, if God is going to give you an answer or not, if God told you to move, if he really was the one who told you to move, he's going to give you the next step. He's going to give you instructions on what to do next. Okay. If God was the one speaking to you, he's going to give you the next instruction. Now, if it is you, okay, if it is you, you won't hear from God, but if it is really God telling you to move, he's going to give you the next step. Okay. And the same thing when it comes to um, finances, don't even worry about that. If it is God telling you to move, wherever God guides, God provides. Whatever God guides, he provides. So if he is guiding you to move, trust and believe he has already, uh, he already has provision in that area. Okay. He is, he, he already has provision waiting on you. Okay. So don't worry about where are you going to get the money from? How are you going to, you know, afford this apartment? How are you going to afford this Airbnb, this hotel? When I tell you, God will work things out. And sometimes it will seem like he will work things out at the very last minute. Okay. Before I moved, before I moved to Texas, I only had $200. Okay. I only had $200 to my name. No, I only had $300 to my name. And then, um, when I was getting ready to leave, my mom cashed out, cashed out me $100. And then my dad, he wanted to give me money before I left. And so he gave me $100. So that was $500. So I left and came to Texas with $500. Okay. And then after that, um, shortly after I got to Texas, God placed it on somebody's heart, uh, a, a subscriber of mine. Um, God placed it on that person's heart to um give me money and basically the person was like you know god told them to give me double for my trouble okay and that person blessed me with two thousand dollars okay so money just came out of nowhere and it was god so that's how you know that you know god will provide wherever he is guiding you okay so don't worry if you don't have the finances don't worry if you don't know the next step if it is god he's going to give you the next step if it is god he's going to give you the finances okay he's going to whisper in somebody's ear and tell you to give you the money somebody's going to just cash up you out of nowhere someone's just going to you know a family member is just going to give you money so when i tell you if god is telling you to move 
trust me, it's already planned. He's already has it planned out. He already has that person who's going to provide for you. He already has that person who's going to, you know, have a room for you or whatever. Okay. Stop stressing. If God is telling you to move, he got you. It's already planned out. Okay. It's not something that God has to think about. It is already planned out. Okay. So this is just encouragement. Stop stressing. Do it afraid. Okay. Each time I moved, I did it afraid. All right. If you're, if you're scared, it's okay. Be scared and still move. Okay. You can still be scared, but make some movement. Step out on faith as God is telling you to move. You can do it scared, but just do it. All right. So I hope that this encourages you to move if God is telling you to move and stop worrying. Stop stressing. God's got you. All right. Bye y'all.